Hello everyone, this is Karthik Salvaraj and in this IBM WebSphere Data Power Tutorials, we will be seeing about XML Manager. So what exactly is an XML Manager? So by definition, XML Manager is a component which obtains, manages the XML documents, style sheets and other document resources on behalf of one or more service. So a same XML Manager can be configured for a single service or a other service as well so that's what means by it can be for uh, one service or more services but my recommendation is to have a uh, xml manager for each and every service because when there is a change that is done for xml manager it will only affect the service that you are debugging or you are fixing the issue for and it will not affect the other services so better to have a xml manager for each and every service but it again depends upon your architecture so next question is will there be a default xml manager yes there will be an xml default xml manager and xml manager will be created for each domain a default xml manager will be created there for each domain and it's better not to alter or do any configuration changes to this default xml manager or to use it for any gateway service so that is also recommended so next is what are the main capabilities and functions of an xml manager so xml manager is basically used to configure some of the basic network settings and uh, inside xml manager you have an option called uh, the user agent in which you can set the remote server access details such as the user ids and passwords and uh, also you have uh, some provisions to set the settings for load balancing so the next one would be you can set the parsing limits for the xml and json documents so you can provide that the service should only handle uh, uh, XML documents which are within 5 MB limit so this will prevent some of the attacks or uh, it will also increase the performance level of the data power appliance so that option is available in a XML manager and it also enables caching of documents whichever the documents that the XML manager obtains and also that's a typo so enables schema validation by def defining the schema validation rules that is also possible using the xml manager so these are the uh, major uh, functions or the capabilities of xml manager there are much more so just want to sum it up with these which are the high level uh, capabilities of an xml manager so that's all for this video we will be seeing about a different video in my next next video so thanks for watching this